has come. Now we are shifting our focus to another important development that we are tracking very closely. Now Dr. Balaji Jagannathan, an oncologist at Kalai Nagar Multi Speciality Hospital was brutally attacked by the patient's son Vignesh in a horrifying incident that left the doctor critically injured. Vignesh allegedly stabbed Dr. Jagannathan seven times causing severe wounds to his neck, head, ear and chest as well. Medical staff has reported that the attack was sudden and ferocious with significant blood loss as colleagues rushed to perform the emergency surgery on the doctor. How did a man armed with a knife manage to enter a secured hospital? This attack coming amid a nationwide outcry over the safety of the medical professionals has in fact prompted the doctors at the hospital to suspend the non-emergency treatments in a fit of protest. The incident follows the recent rape and the murder of a doctor in Kolkata sparking strikes across India. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has also condemned the violence pledging to protect the doctors who selflessly served the community but still was attacked after the treatment by the patient's son did not appease him. But as the protest spread, is it finally time for a comprehensive action plan to prevent such kind of cases of violence? How do we ensure the safety of those who save our lives? Alright, with the merits of such an incident, let me get the latest on it by my colleague Ramesha who is joining me live. Ramesha, very good morning to you. Now we have seen how yesterday there was a controversy after the health minister of Tamil Nadu uh, again, in fact, uh, in a very uh, uh, way, he has in fact said uh, that there was an attacker who was a doctor. But at this point of time, how do you view this uh, entire incident? What is the latest that you are tracking and how exactly is the victim's family now in that state? Simran, uh, the doctor yesterday assaulted uh, Dr. Uh, J. Balaji has been treated in the Kalenjar uh, Multi Speciality Hospital where uh, he has been attacked, assaulted by the patient's uh, son. Today he has been, uh, uh, the health minister visited him. He said himself uh, that uh, I am very uh, stable and uh, treatment given in the hospital is good and uh, he is stable and uh, he is uh, uh, what uh, stitches and other things uh, yesterday done and uh, his cardio. I thought uh, what uh, done uh, today is uh, normal and uh, he is uh, spent uh, he, he placed to him uh, before that uh, incident. He is a cardiac patient. He said he is stable and he is uh, uh, getting food and he is uh, uh, treated well by the doctors here and uh, today said he is stable. But the thing is after this assault the doctors uh, uh, called uh, the strike across the state and uh, today uh, the most of the hospitals are uh, uh, running uh, without the doctors, the outpatient uh, uh, wings in the hospitals are closed. The only emergency treatments are given. You can see the doctors' uh, chambers, the outpatient doctors' chambers, they are closed down. No doctors has been attending the doc uh, hospital. They are all shut down. They have called the staff uh, right today, and the hospitals uh, seem very empty. This is the hospital where uh, Kalanjar uh, Centenary Hospital filled with uh, always filled with the people, uh, thousands of people getting treatment in here. Today we can see no patients are here. The patients who are coming from outside are sent out without uh, saying that the doctors are on strike. So uh, there is no treatment. Only emergency services are, has been given in the uh, hospital. They are uh, only emergency patients are treated. They are sent already the emergency places where the treatment has uh, given. Uh, uh, the, at the same time, doctors are protesting uh, uh, in various uh, places across the state in uh, all the district headquarters. Uh, the protests are going on. Uh, and uh, seeking the more uh, uh, security to the hospitals and the doctors uh, who are uh, giving uh, treatment uh, in the hospitals. The more security to the hospitals and the doctors also they are uh, asking the security today the uh, doctors are protesting in the road in various district headquarters even in chennai also protesting protests are going on the now only the health minister visited this hospital and asked about this uh, uh, how the treatments are going to the doctor and everything now you can see the emergency ward of these things uh, this uh, 
Kalanyar Centenary Hospital is an emergency ward. You can see this. This is the only emergency ward is operated here in the nice Kalanyar Centenary Hospital. The only the emergency patients are treated. You can see the inside the hospital. They are treated only. The emergency services has been provided in the hospital. The people are uh, standing here. The mo most of the people they are uh, they came for this uh, emergency treatment are here in this uh, hospital now. And uh, today the all right, Amisha. Thank you for sharing these latest inputs and the details that you are tracking very closely. Now, viewers, it's time to get the latest of, in fact, the development, uh, 